Hi everyone and welcome back to A Critical Eye Food. So I just wanted to create a video on what to do with your Triops eggs and your Daphne eggs once they are hatched. So if you have seen our videos, I'll link it in the description below. You'll see that this is an example of the Daphne hatching kit and it's a pretty small container but it's definitely enough room for them to hatch and to swim around a little. But if you're looking at keeping them going, you obviously need to feed them. So after they've hatched, they'll be hungry. Um, this is our micro magic phytoplankton and this is what they eat. So this comes in a range of between five and seven species of phytoplankton. Um, either is good for Daphnia and I guess with species, it's like a phytoplankton, the more the better. But with your Daphnia, you just want to make sure you feed them once they're hatched. A small amount i'll leave the instructions on what meal you need to feed your daphnia below but it's obviously just a very small amount you don't want to flood them with food um, and as for extracting them you can extract them with our plankton net or you can use our sieve now our sieves come in many different micron sizes and i'll leave the micron sizes chart link in the description below so you can see what you need for Daphnia and if you have other live foods you can also see what you need for them. Um, sieves can be really good because it's just a really easy way to pour them out and then once you have them out you can feed them if you have fish or you can use them into and put them into a bigger tank just to keep um, and you can feed them the micro magic that's all they will need to keep going um, plus I guess some water changes keeping their water clean is very important but yeah, I just wanted to go through everything that you might want to do after you've hatched your triops and Daphnia. If you have any questions, please let us know. Bye.